Lucky Hit Chance, otherwise known as LHC. I'm sure you've seen dozens of articles and videos on Lucky Hit Chance for Diablo 4, but all of them, including some of the biggest sources for D4 information, parrot the same basic details without actually answering harder questions like, how does Lucky Hit Chance work for DOTs? Or how do we effectively utilize Lucky Hit Chance in our build? Without further ado, let's deep dive into how Lucky Hit Chance works for Diablo 4 and grant you the advantage of knowledge. First, let's start with the basics. You are actually able to see the not entirely correct Lucky Hit Chance tooltip in game by going to Options, Gameplay, and then turning on Advanced Tooltips. This will allow Lucky Hit Chance to display on your skill UI. While this can technically be misleading sometimes, it gives you some rough indicator of lucky hit chance for most skills, so it is still useful. Now, I'm going to use a metaphor to help you understand lucky hits. You can think of LHC like critical hit rate, and lucky hit effect like critical damage. Critical hits and lucky hits are definitely different, especially the lucky hit effect versus critical hit damage. But essentially speaking, both of them are there to increase your combat effectiveness given a certain proc rate. Except, Lucky Hit is one step more complicated than that. Let's take a look at the standard formula for Lucky Hit Chance. On Lucky Hit, then your blank have a chance to do blank, where the first blank space is yet another chance condition, and the second blank space is the effect. This does indeed mean that Lucky Hit Chance has two conditions instead of one, like Critical Hit Chance which makes lucky hit events less likely to happen than your mind is used to thinking. What do I mean? Let's compare it to critical strikes. The condition to do a critical strike is your critical hit rate. The result is your critical damage. Let's say you have 50% crit chance, and you do 100% bonus damage for critical strikes. On a non-crit strike hit, an attack that deals 100 damage would do 200 when it critical hits. For our example, our crit hit rate is 50%. This means that you're essentially doing 50% more damage on average. How about lucky hits? After going through the first condition of having to lucky hit, there is always a second condition you must pass through in order to get the result. Let's look at an example. Druids have a passive called Elemental Exposure. On lucky hit, your storm skills have 10% chance to make enemies vulnerable for one second. If we assume 50% LHC, Elemental Exposure is only going to proc 5% of the time because of the second condition. Even if your gear allows you to have 100% LHC on your skill, Lucky Hit's effects will always be governed by this secondary condition, so your max proc chance here is 10%. Which is why I said Lucky Hit effects are harder to proc than you would expect. There are two rates and not one like crit chance, and it can be difficult or even impossible to increase this secondary condition because, well, your passive just has it capped. Even at level 3 out of 3 elemental exposure, your highest possible proc chance is 10%. That is, if you can get 100% lucky hit chance on your storm skill to begin with. Even if you land a lucky hit, if it is not a storm skill, it won't do anything. Just FYI, this lucky hit event or the result of a LHC successfully proccing also shows up under the offensive section in your character sheet, just like crit damage would. But there is no lucky hits chance that shows up, because it is dependent on the skill you're using. This is a perfect transition for part 2. The chance of a lucky hit event is therefore the lucky hit chance of the skill multiplied by 1 plus sum of all lucky hits bonuses, multiplied by the proc chance of the lucky hit effect. This is probably the formula you've seen across a dozen of articles, and it is indeed correct, even though I know some people doubt this section. Some people think that if your skill has a base 5% LHC, and your gear grants you 50% LHC, then the final lucky hit chance is 55%. This is most definitely incorrect. The actual lucky hit chance would become 7.5%. If you just think about it on a game design level, you'll understand why this is the case. But allow me to give a quick example. Hydra from in-game screenshot has 54% LHC. 
I'm gonna skip a few steps first and tell you straight up that this is not actually entirely accurate. Each fireball that the Hydra spews actually has a 2.5% LHC. Now, if LHC was additive instead of multiplicative, each Hydra fireball would have 52.5% LHC, which would make skills like Lunging Strike with a base 50% LHC a joke in comparison to Hydra. That can crap out 30 fireballs at 52.5% LHC each without the four-headed upgrade. So yeah, LHC bonuses you get from talent trees and gears are summed up and multiplied towards your skill LHC. Now, let's answer the question on LHC and DOTs. Yes, lucky hits do in fact work on each individual tick of DOTs. The simple proof is poison imbuement, a skill that is purely DOT with 33% LHC. On the other hand, code imbuement doesn't do damage and doesn't have LHC. There are also skills like Firebolt which has its LHC split into the initial Firebolt hit and every single DOT after that, which I will cover later. Alright, now, let's take a look at data mine game files and show you how I arrived at the spreadsheet for each individual LHC. Let's start with an easy one, the Frostbolt. The Frostbolt's description tells us that its LHC is its combat effect hit chance, which is 40. This also checks out with SF14. SFs are essentially attributes of the skill, which in this case is the lucky hit chance. Let's do the same for Poison Imbuement. From its description, we can see that its LHC says Combat Effects Chance Override 17. This doesn't mean 17% chance for each tick. What 17 is referring to is SF17, which tells us that its LHC is 33%. But how did we arrive at 33%? This is actually 1 minus chance of no lucky hits. For DOTs, you don't just divide 33 by 5 seconds to get 6.6% .6 lucky hit chance per tick of poison imbuement. SF18 is the actual lucky hit chance. Solving for this formula by substituting 0 for mod duration to look at the base poison imbuement, we get 7.697% chance. I made a spreadsheet for calculating LHC per hit using probability to double check. 5 ticks of 7.67% chance with 1 minus probability of no lucky hits yields 32.9% chance to proc lucky hits at least once on the target over the course of 5 seconds, which matches the tooltip description. But the tooltip leaves out the fact that you can proc more than one LHC on a singular target from a single cast of the skill. It also means that DLTs can skew your perceived lucky hit chance. If you're running through mobs in a dungeon and you spend roughly 2 to 3 seconds per mob, you're not going to get the full LHC that DLTs display because the mob would be dead before then. So, even though the tooltip shows 54% LHC for Hydra, a lot of the LHC can actually be wasted versus a skill that completely loads LHC into a singular hit if you're just clearing mobs. As an example, this would be important if proccing lucky hit gives you a damage buff in your build. Before we enter the final LHC section, like and subscribe so you don't miss any future in-depth guides to help you optimize your build. Utilizing the same steps for Hydra to solve for SF20, we reach 53.21% lucky hit chance, which is close enough to the in-game tooltip rate of 54%. In fact, on other data mining sites, we see 53.21% as well, so I'm guessing Diablo 4 rounds the result up. Anyway, something else this tells us is that developers are calculating LHC, assuming that all 30 hits of Hydra will hit, since Hydra attacks once per second per head. Knowing the math also allows you to change 30 hits to 40 hits and get the LHC of the Enhanced Hydra, which is 64% over the full 10 seconds. By the way, I made a spreadsheet for the actual LHC per hit, and I'll also update this spreadsheet in the video description down below with other tools like calculating chance to proc a lucky hit event given the effect proc rate and LHC bonus, and other stuff once we get the final versions of the skills. Next, let's discuss Firebolt and other skills that split the damage into an initial strike and DLT. 
The displayed lucky hit chance for these moves are all split up into initial hit and the DLT. For example, Firebolt has 16 ticks total for the 8 second DLT. Exactly half of the LHC is loaded into the initial strike and the other half in the DLT. This is basically exactly halfway between only having a single hit and DLT. If both are taken into account for the proc chance calculation, you'll get exactly 35% chance to proc at least once, which is basically the tooltip LHC for Firebolt. Do keep in mind that because we arrived at LHC for DLTs by multiplying 16 different ticks, there is the added benefit of having a chance to proc a lucky hit event more than once unlike the initial hit. Okay, after learning about how lucky hit chance is actually calculated, just exactly how do you apply it to your build? Let's say there's this unique lightning storm armor with a unique effect. Basically, it promotes a lucky hit build by calling down a lightning AoE every time you proc a lucky hit event. The damage from the piece is very high and you want to build around this armor. So you get another piece of gear that gives you, let's say, a 30% chance to get 50% damage buff for 3 seconds after getting a lucky hit. The duration is not long, so you want to lucky hit as many times as possible to keep the buff. Now, you're playing a rogue and you're deciding between the penetrating shot core skill and the rapid fire core skill. A quick look at the data mine info or my spreadsheet tells you that rapid fire is actually 20% per shot and not 20% total. Penetrating shot is 50% LHC. This means that on a single cast versus a single target, rapid fire is not only superior in damage and resource consumption, it also has a much higher chance to proc lucky hit. This is obviously better than the 20% chance suggested by the tooltip. But Let's say the armor doesn't call down a lightning AoE, or there's another similar item. Instead of an AoE, it calls down an even higher damaging single target lightning strike, and you still keep the lucky hit damage buff from other sources. Now, without considering other sources of investment, penetrating shot is better in an AoE scenario when you're clearing large amounts of mobs, whereas rapid fire is more suited for single target damage. Since the armor now does single target damage, you're already fairly decent off versus bosses, but will struggle against packs of mobs if you're still running rapid fire. While clearing mobs in an AoE, if penetrating shot hits just 3 targets, which would be fairly easy, it now has a much more superior chance of proccing lucky hits to keep your damage buff up. Penetrating shot will also better balance your build around both clearing group mobs and bosses. This is why understanding lucky hits in its entirety can help you better make choices for your builds. Like and subscribe. If you want to support my work, please consider buying my fantasy novel or donating to my Patreon down below. With a book purchase, you can also request a topic from me, Krite, signing out.